Hi folks, Doug Wasaki here. Um, this is my garage uh, where I work. It's um, where I do most of my assemblage work. Um, <clears throat> I do most of, I do collage, assemblage, printmaking, and a um, little bit of painting. Most of my collage and painting work is done at my studio in the Funk Zone. A uh, beautiful little place I share with Michael Irwin, his son Nate, and Terry Duffy. And then Jean Denzel was in there, and she just moved to another location. But um, you can find us at 121 Santa Barbara Street, right across the street from Llama Dog. Anyways, uh, here's where I created um, Guided by Voices 2. Uh, let me mention, the first one was a similar piece. It had a large light bulb and then a three-pronged, uh, kind of like a rake, whole thing at the top. I like to juxtapose man-made and uh, machine-made and natural objects or sometimes delicate and um, more rough pieces. Um, that one just came about fairly quickly. Um, the title comes from a band uh, that I listen to periodically early on. It's called Guided by Voices. I was just, um, I just like the the evocative title and things that it conjured up kind of reminded me of someone, you know, blindfolded and going someplace or someone perhaps on the fringe hearing voices or maybe something in a biblical sense. I, I don't know. It just was very evocative toward, uh, for me and so that's why I applied it to that piece. When I was working on the second piece, I again had several of those large light bulbs and added some other pieces uh, to it. The mannequins, the wooden mannequin hand, uh, the little magnifying glass and some of the other goodies there. To me it was a play on or playing with the idea of pseudoscience and magic and maybe a blending of the two. You have some man-made stuff and some other objects that are juxtaposed together into this wacky kind of different little piece. I like to play around with um, things that look like they're made for a pseudo-science fair kind of affair that they're very much handmade um, but also imbued with a sense of reverence and maybe a graceful magical sense and combining those two having those two kind of ideologies or ways of thinking kind of fusing and melding together. I like also using the light bulbs. Light bulbs, in I've used them in a bunch of different pieces in the past. Um, for me it's, well number one, there's the whole idea of illumination, of recognition, of an idea. Um, it's also transparent, you can see its inner workings. Um, there's a delicacy of the glass um, holding the filament and however it's mounted. Um, and so that's been a kind of object that I've been kind of playing with over the decades. So, so long from the West Side Garage of Douglas Saka. Thanks for checking on in and we hope to see you again soon.